We continue our team coverage tonight as police make a second arrest in the abduction of a toddler from a Giles County church over the weekend. Bobby Lee Taylor is in jail tonight. He's facing at least one charge of abduction. The Giles County Sheriff says he is the boyfriend of Nancy Renee Fridley, who is in, in jail on similar charges. You can see here in this video that you'll only see on 10 News, Fridley is in handcuffs walking to the back of a police car. Officers took her into custody in Allegheny County earlier today on abduction and felony child endangerment charges. And that's where they found two-year-old Noah Trout unharmed. But Fridley and her boyfriend are accused of abducting the child again from that church nursery in Giles County. Now, it was a long day for officers from the local to the federal level who are happy tonight that the child is safe. 10 News reporter Shane Dwyer is at the Giles County Sheriff's Office to explain how all of this went down. Dozens of law enforcement officers worked around the clock for more than 24 hours alongside deputies here at the Giles County Sheriff's Office to be able to make the afternoon announcement today that Noah Trout was found safe. But still this evening, there are many more questions in this case. This was the moment it all led up to 44 year old Nancy Renee Fridley being walked to the back of a police car from her home outside Clifton Forge in video you'll only see on 10 News. Giles County Sheriff Morgan Milliron says she became a person of interest and then they set up a perimeter around the house. Shortly therefore, FBI agents and a tactical unit from the Virginia State Police saw a child matching Noah's description in the area of the home. The FBI and Virginia State Police recovered Noah. Fridley is charged with abduction and felony child endangerment, and her boyfriend, Bobby Lee Taylor, was also arrested. Police believe them to be responsible for the kidnapping of two-year-old Noah Trout Sunday morning from the daycare at Riverview Baptist Church near Ripplemead. Police say this photo from a security camera that was shared far and wide on social media showed Trout leaving the church with the female suspect, although it's unclear what led them to Fridley. Please be mindful. Even though Noah has been safely recovered, the investigation is still ongoing. And we need to be careful of information that is released. Law enforcement from the local, state, and federal level poured resources into the investigation. The FBI says its child abduction rapid deployment team played a critical part. The CAR team, with a component of our behavioral analysis unit, was deployed within a few hours and began complementing our on the ground investigative efforts here. The little boy was checked out by EMS and did not appear physically harmed. Members at the Riverview Baptist Church, where Trout's family attends, say they're thankful this came to a peaceful ending. I'm extremely happy uh, that our, our church family is, has got a, a, a load lifted off of it, and uh, I'm sure law enforcement will take care of the rest. And Law enforcement was very brief at the news conference this evening and did not take any of our questions. It's unclear when the two will make their first appearances in court. In Parisburg, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you. Riverview Baptist Church also released a statement following the arrest. It reads in part, we are immediately examining ways to make our campus and facilities even more safe and secure for families wishing to come to worship with us. We hope that this criminal act on our campus allows other churches to evaluate their own child care safety procedures. And we have been following every development of this story from the beginning and we'll continue to share updates in this case. You can stay up to date on this and other big stories by downloading the WSLS 10 News app or going to WSLS.com.